Show. Ah, hats. It's not unusual to see Mr. Men or Little Misses wearing hats. They wear them to keep warm, as protection from the sun, or simply to be stylish. Fortunately, for those in need of a new hat, there is Miss Magic's hat shop. I'm so glad you asked me to come with you to buy a hat, Mr. Fussy. I really like shopping for hats. Oh, and mittens and hair ribbons. I heart hair ribbons. But hat shopping is fun too. I welcome your opinion, Miss Chatterbox. It is important that I pick just the right hat. <laughs> oh, hello, Miss Magic. I love it when you do that. I wish I were magic too. Hello. Welcome to Miss Magic's hat shop. I expect you're here for a hat. I certainly am, Miss Magic, but, um, where are all your hats? Oh, I make a special hat for each customer. That way, it really shows off your personality. For example, mine has a red lining, because I like red. Oh! Oh, we like rabbits, too! Kind of goes with being magic. I wonder what it's like to be magic. Miss Magic, I would like a hat which is just like me. Neat, tidy, always on time, and charming. And, of course, no rabbits. Ooh, coming right up. Lickety split and lickety splat. Bring Mr. Fussy his own special hat. Ta-da! Yee-haw! Right up high, Mr. Fussy. You look quite the cowboy. <laughs> Miss Magic, while it is a lovely and large hat, I'm afraid I'm not too comfortable with the cowboy look. Oh, <laughs> no problem. I've got another idea. Hippity gee and hippity gussy. Bring me a hat that suits Mr. Fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing? No, it's annoying. <laughs> this one is so you. It cleans, it tells the time, it's grand. Well, it's a grandfather clock. <laughs> yes, it's perfect. Please, Miss Magic, I just want a nice hat with a small brim and perhaps a jaunty feather. Oh, why didn't you say so? Sarasy! Uh, what is a bird's nest doing on my head? Um, <coughs> Mr Fussy, it's called fashion. It's totally you. Totally you. I just want a simple hat that flatters me. Oh, all right then. I can see I went too far with the feathers. Here you go. Zarazi. <laughs> it's so perfect. I may weep with joy. Thank you, Miss Magic. Sometimes my magic surprises even me. And it's lined with magenta silk. And just look at the jaunty feather, Miss Chatterbox. <coughs> no. hmm? Now you have an egg on your head. And it's magenta too, just like the inside of your hat. What a coincidence. Oh, wow, now you have two eggs on your head. That's funny. Well, maybe not ha-ha funny, but... <gasps> now there's three. <laughs> okay, now that is ha-ha funny. <laughs> Whoop! Oh. Hey, what's with the eggs? I thought this was a hot shop. <laughs> On days like this, it's nice to go for a drive in a convertible. Provided, of course, you protect your head from the sun. Hello, Mr. Stubborn. Ooh, I like your hat, Mr. Nervous. 
thank you, Miss Sunshine. Oh, the sun can give you hideous, horrible sunburn if you're not careful. That's why I brought a hat, too. Yes, good idea. Seatbelt on. I always insist on safety. Oh, Mr. Stubborn, I think your hat is too big. Don't be silly, Miss Sunshine. This hat is a perfect fit. How did that letterbox get there? Oh, it's always been there. You probably just didn't see it because your hat was in your eyes. This hat is not in my eyes. Um, Mr. Stubborn, I don't mean to pry, but can you see where you're going? Of course I can. What? Where is my hat? Oh, look, pretty flowers. The wind must have taken my hat. Look on the bright side. Now you can see where you're going. And get sunburnt? I don't think so. Why did I agree to come on this drive of doom? <laughs> no, 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 no! Wrong way! Hat too big! Mr. Nervous, why can't you be more like Miss Sunshine? You don't hear her complaining. <laughs> oh, no! Cows! Woo! I love cows! Love them, love them, love them! Dear Diary, I am staring into the eyes of a very angry bull. I don't know how this is going to end, but my guess is... Goodbye! <laughs> Mr. Stubborn, watch out for the ducks! What ducks? <laughs> Look what you made me do! This outing is over. Go away! <laughs> Give me back that hat, you crafty duck! It's hat day over at Dillydale Supermarket, which means that whoever wears the best hat has a chance at winning a prize. And Mr. Grumpy wants that prize. Good morning, Mr. Grumpy. I see you got up bright and early for hat day, too. Never too early for the chance to win that pipe organ. I hope my Viking hat wins. Don't fool yourself, Mr. Tiggle. When it comes to best hat contests, this baby can't be beat. What do you think you're doing, Mr. Rude? What does it look like? I am preparing to win that pipe organ. Dream on. Hmm. Good tidings, fellow hat wearers. You're all wasting your time. This hat of mine is guaranteed to be the winner. I think you need a tickle. Do it and I'll pull your horns off. We'll take a tickle, won't we, Mr. Nosey? Never turn down a tickle, Mr. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Amateurs. Clearly, they do not want that pipe organ as much as us. Ha <laughs> ha. Clearly. You look like a giant parrot in that hat. And you look like a giant boar. Yes, well, this hat is going to win. No, this hat is going to win. Watch the feathers. No pushing in. I was here first. Hello to all you early birds who showed up for hat day. Or in this case, one early bird. Ha 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 ha! The early bird gets the pipe organ. Hand it over. One minute, Mr. Grumpy. I'm going to have to judge if your hat is indeed the best hat. It's not. Man is. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? I'm seeing hats, hats, hats. Don't bother, Mr. Happy. Just give me the prize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wonderful way to start the day. <laughs> Bravo, Mr. Grumpy. Now that <gasps> is truly a winning hat. What? No, this cockamamie hat isn't mine. Hey, that's my Viking hat. And those are my feathers. That may be, but they're on Mr. Grumpy's head, so I'm declaring him the winner. Oh, Kel Supreze. Mr. Nosey, since we're sporting such stylish hats, how about we stroll down the avenue? Right behind you, little friend. Here you go. One pipe organ. Would you like to say a few words? Yes, good boy. 
Oh, crooked cucumbers. If you two are gonna salt, we can share the prize. Yay! This calls for a tickle! No! <laughs> Watch it! You'll break the pocket, you nincompoops! And so, at one time or another, almost everyone in Dillydale wears a hat. In fact, some Mr. Men and Little Misses wear more than one. And for those who don't wear a hat at all, it's never too late to start. <laughs>